Hey guys, Tamisha here with Toolbox Divas and today I'm going to show you how to make customizable solar powered walkway lights. Alright, let's get dirty. This project is a part of the Outdoor DIY Challenge hosted by Ramadaholic. So when working with tools, I always wear safety goggles. You'll need 4x4 solar powered post caps that fit a 4x4 pressure treated post half inch aluminum angle bars, and some construction adhesive. To cut the aluminum bar, you're gonna need a hacksaw. And finally, you're gonna need some paint or stain. We're gonna start by cutting the four by four down to 28 inches. Next, we're gonna take the post cap out of the box and prep it for painting. Now, I found these black post caps um, at my local home center. Um, and they weren't exactly the color that I wanted. I actually wanted them in copper. And the ones that were in copper weren't the style that I wanted. So I decided to use some spray paint on them to get the look that I was going for. So I'm covering up the solar panel and then I'm covering up the, wind, the glass frames around the light. Next, using a hacksaw, we're gonna cut down the angle bar into four pieces, 24 inch pieces. You want to use um, a hacksaw with multiple tiny teeth because it makes the cutting process a lot easier. And buy a couple extra blades because it those blades dull quickly. With the angle bars cut, I'm setting up the spray shelter so that I can spray paint the angled bars as well as the post caps. So I'm using this spray paint shelter sent to me by Homerite and I gotta tell you guys, I really love this uh, this tent. It's really easy to pop open and much better than a cardboard box. <laughs> I'm painting the 4x4 post with an exterior solid base paint by Bear called Catalina Coast. Once the paint is dry, you want to mark down about a half inch down from the top of each post, on each side of each of the post. This is where you're going to glue the angled bars. You want to make sure to leave that half inch from the top of the post. This will ensure that the post cap will lay flat on the surface. I use both the Gorilla Original Glue and the Gorilla Construction Adhesive. I highly recommend the construction adhesive because the original glue does leave uh, a little bit of foam once it's dry. With the spray paint dry, I was then able to use a 5-in-1 tool and remove the painter's tape and place the post cap at the top of the pole. During this process, you're bound to scrape the angled bar paint or the stain. So you're going to probably have to touch up the paint once everything is done. With my solar post complete, I dug a hole about 6 to 8 inches deep so that I can place my posts in the ground. And I also used some quick setting concrete around the pole so that they would be nice and uh, sturdy. And with my posts set, I went ahead and planted some flowers around my solar lights. I love the way this turned out. This completely transformed my walkway. It gives it the beachy coastal look that I was going for with the lighthouse effect. Thanks to Romano Holic for hosting this challenge. Be sure to check out the other outdoor videos in this challenge. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. And don't be shy. Follow us on social media at Toolbox Divas on Facebook and Instagram. Alright guys, till next time.